Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and we're doing another news video. Sorry for the blitz to the subscriber feed, but I kind of slept through an afternoon and it screwed up my schedule, so I wanted to get a few easy videos out while I got caught up on that other stuff. This is something that I am quite interested in because it pertains to Final Fantasy Origin. We've been doing tons of coverage on that on the channel. I'm working on a bunch of videos for it right now. And this one is about the composers for the game's OST. While I was playing through, there are a few specific sounds, especially one of the more EDM-esque tracks that plays about midway through, that made me think I could probably guess who at least one of the composers would be for this game's OST. And it would appear my guess was correct, because the main composer is Naoshi Mizuta, most commonly known for their work in Final Fantasy XI. Yeah, pretty easy to recognize it when you spent literally thousands of days on a single game. So, Mizuta actually has sort of a secret affinity for electronic dance music, something that was made abundantly clear in Dissidia NT's fourth anniversary album. So, Mizuta has, of course, the number of tracks they've worked on in Final Fantasy XI. This being one of the Mercenaries Delight from the Treasures of Ot or Dawn expansion. Now for the fourth anniversary, a bunch of different composers remix themes from various Final Fantasies. Final Fantasy XIII got one. The Insatiable remix in Final Fantasy XIV that now plays way too many times in every dungeon was also one of them that was initially on that soundtrack. And Mizuta remixed that same theme I just played, but this is what it sounds like in the remix. <laughs> Yeah, so you can kind of tell where I was able to identify that some of the more EDM sounding stuff in Final Fantasy Origin might be Mizuta's work. This is someone who is super reliable to give both atmosphere as well as their own really, really interesting takes on remixes of themes, especially the very fast paced combat. I think this is really going to be up Mizuta's alley and a lot of people who are kind of maybe more used to thinking of things like Ronfauer music or Dynamis, might definitely see another side of mizuta Sun here that they didn't actually expect to see. So really looking forward to that, but that is only one of the three composers. So composer number two on this list is Hidenori Iwasaki. Again, not a name that I was super familiar with, so I had to do a little bit of research. It looks like they have actually worked with Naoshi Mizuta on some Final Fantasy XI recompositions in the past, but they've had a lot of background work on various titles over the last many, many years. Very rarely in the actual composer category, but I have a list here. I mean, they worked as additional crew on The Bouncer, which is a game, yo, Square Enix, come on. Give me The Bouncer remaster, remake, I'll take it. Uh, Threads of Fate, Legend of Mana, they worked on the sound department on both of those. Chocobo Racing, they were a synthesizer programmer for the music and sound section. Crystal Chronicles, they worked as a programmer on the music. Crystal Chronicles, The Crystal Bearers, they were actually a composer on that one. They worked on Front Mission 4 and Blood Mask. They were also the composer for Left Alive. Um, and so they actually do have a bit of a pedigree behind them. Now, thinking about those games, The Bouncer actually is one that makes me think of a, a soundtrack I would likely hear more of in this game. Whereas things like Crystal Chronicles and whatnot really sound more traditional Final Fantasy, so we do hear a lot of motifs that are familiar to the old school Final Fantasy games in the OST for the demo. So I'm wondering how much of that impact they're gonna be bringing. I wish I had a better grasp of their work so I could kind of understand what style they're bringing to Final Fantasy Origin. But uh, they said they're really working with a lot of trial and error to find the songs that'll work. And you know what, so far the demo, I'm liking what I'm hearing. So composer number two, I trust you, Iwasaki-san. And then our final composer is Ryo Yamazaki, another name, again, I'm not super familiar with. Now, he said he's been involved in various Final Fantasy-related projects up until now, so again, I went and tried to find what they've worked on. They worked as an arranger for the sound on Final Fantasy XIII 2. They also worked in the same sound division uh, on the Crystal Bearers, as Iwasaki-san did. Um, they worked on Unlimited Saga, Chocobo Dungeon 2. They've worked in the sound department for things like Final Fantasy XIII, Legend of Mana, Chrono Cross, taking it way back. They've been additional crew on things like Kingdom Hearts, Front Mission, another thing they would have worked with Iwasaki-san on. 
a dirge of Cerberus. They've actually even worked on some visual effects, nothing even music related, but some visual effects for Bleach, which was something that was a little bit surprising to hear. So yeah, they've had a hand in a bunch of different stuff. Apparently, most recently, they actually worked on Balan Wonderworld. Uh, they did a special piano medley for it. And looking through some of the other tracks that they've worked on, uh, it looks like they have had some other projects, but again, it really looks like Balan Wonderworld was the last thing that they really, really worked on. So Balan Wonderworld, while well, I didn't really vibe with it as a game definitely disappointed on that the soundtrack for the game is really solid and the sound work that is done on it is also really solid so what we have here is a pretty solid team the fact that mizuda is the main composer and these other two composers have such a different array of experience in different departments as composers and synthesizers and all that kind of stuff really gives you that vibe again what you hear in the ost you can kind of tell what they're working with what they're working on i do wonder what the variety of the tracks will sound like what the other dungeons will sound like the other missions the other boss fights because they've they're off to such a strong start that I really can't wait to hear how the whole OST ends up sounding. Let me know what you think of the Final Fantasy Origin OST. If you haven't checked it out, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube, whether it's watching various boss fights, just listening to it in the background, or finding the music, or, you know, just play it on your PS5 that you totally have. Definitely. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and I promise I'll get back to working on normal videos in the next couple of days. Anyway, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care. <laughs>